This demonstration is to illustrate how we can cut a dynamic cross-section view at any angle we want to in any 3D model using simple microstation tools. In our 3D model here I have a set to wireframe mode and I'm going to select the clip volume, clear active clip volume command and I'm going to open up that tool set. And in this tool set the apply or modify clip volume if we take a look at the tools, I'm going to use this particular one where I can select a clipping plane. So I'm going to move this out of the way and I'm going to simply strike a line. But before I do that, just notice in my view attributes, I have my clip back, clip front, clip volume all turned on. So I'm going to strike a plane here and then accept. And you can see immediately that I have a clip and notice in my clip settings I've turned off my back clip. And those are options that you can change. And so now I simply have to come in to rotate my view, put my anchor rotation somewhere in the view here, and as I rotate, you will see how I can then window in and look at this. We'll continue to rotate around. You can see how easily that moves. Now let's say that I wanted to change my clipping location. I go back to my top view and if you select your clip you can tell it how far out to look you can move your clipping range forward and back within your clipping window and so if I wanted to extend my clipping window I can do that and then I can move where it is I want to clip and of course at any point in time once you get that done you can come back and simply rotate and look at that new clipped area. This is very useful for just examining it along any angle or plane that you want. And at any time you can come back and switch from wireframe to illustration, etc. And to go back to show one more time, if I go back to top view, I can go to my clipping commands here. And what I'm gonna do now is I'm gonna delete and accept in my view. And then I'll place one more time. But again, we want to make sure we use the clip, clip selection. And so let's say I want to put my clip right here. So we'll put this in, we'll draw that across, and then accept, and immediately get a clip. And so when we come down here to rotate again, and we'll move our rotation point, then you can see that we have the ability then to look at that particular clipping plane. And at any time in your settings, you can turn on your back, um, and you can also change the way your back looks. And so you can see how you can have the different, you know, appearances there. Um, perhaps you don't want to have snap and locate turned on for back, um, but you might want to see it. You have some different options there of how that can appear. And then you can do the same thing with forward, cut, or outside. And so a lot of different options there. Uh, this is pretty handy um, to, you know, to take advantage of, of the clipping options, if you will, and, and what we can do. I have to say that um, once you get used to it, it does take a little bit getting used to, I think you're going to be able to review your model very quickly.